So guys, I figured it was finally time to get around to talking a little bit about the vintage lenses on the Sony A7. Um, today I'm going to start off this series talking about the uh, Auto China 50mm f1.9, which I have right here. Uh, I've also, I'm using a Photosy PK mount uh, to convert over to the A7. I'll put a link to it in the description below. Um, the photo C stuff I've been getting on Amazon for a pretty good price. Uh, pretty inexpensive, works really well as far as I can tell so far. Um, and also I bought a bunch of extra of these rear caps that I'll also link down below which have been super helpful for these adapters. Yeah, I've had a lot of fun using this little lens. Uh, I picked it up for $9 in a pawn shop. It's a uh, Pentax K-mount lens. And uh, like I said, I used the Photo-C Amazon adapter to convert it over to E-mount. And uh, I've been having a lot of fun using it. Go a manual aperture in here uh, with the clicks in it. It goes from 1.9 up to 16, so it's not a real small aperture. Uh, but it seems to work pretty well. Uh, it's fairly sharp, wide open at 1.9, which is pretty cool. Um, it really gets nice around f4 it seems like. My copy, the barrel seems to be slightly loose right here. Not sure exactly what all that's about. Uh, it has a little bit of jiggle and wiggle to it. Uh, but like I said, I bought it for $9 in a pawn shop. So uh, I guess I want to start out today. I'll show you guys some video taken with it. Uh, just around the house with the dog and my Yashica mat. And, couple other random things just to show you what the video looks like out of this um, and we'll do a couple photos as well here in a minute so uh, let's jump into the video and then we'll move to the photos and like I said if you are curious about the adapters or anything I'm using I'll put the links in the description uh, we'll go from there check out the video video clips from the Auto China 50mm f1.9. Uh, also forgot to mention some of the intro there was filmed with the Auto China as well. Uh, so now we're back at the desk. We're gonna check out a few photos on here. I'll show you a little bit about what it'll do uh, for photography and everything, um, which has been my primary use for it. Actually this is kind of the first time I've messed around with doing video much with that lens. So. Uh, I've been a little bit impressed with it, honestly, but uh, yeah, we'll get hop into the photos here, and this is the, like I said, my primary usage, and show you guys what it looks like and how we get going on here. So uh, this photo uh, I picked to show you that I take that I've taken with the uh, 50. I like the sharpness that it gets. Uh, typically, this one I think was closed down around f4 or f8. Um, so it's got a pretty decent sharpness to it. Um, this was just a building in Rogers, Arkansas I thought looked cool and uh, yeah, I just happened to be shooting Auto China in that day. So in this one I picked because I wanted to show you guys how the bokeh looks for one and also uh, it's a little bit susceptible to flare. Uh, a lot of these older lenses are kind of susceptible to flare. But um, if you use it to your advantage, you can get some pretty cool shots like this one. Uh, this is my wife, Cassie, uh, on our honeymoon in Colorado at Lake San Cristobal, uh, near Lake City. And this one is shot pretty much wide open. I think it is at 1.9 on the Auto China. And the uh, book is really cool. I like the way it came out. 
I like the way this lens re uh, renders colors. Um, yeah, I'm just have fun with this lens, especially on a sunny day like this. It seems to do really well in the light. Um, but yeah, it's still pretty sharp, wide open, even. Um, like I said, the colors look cool. I like the bokeh. It's I like it. I'm just happy with it. This is another one from Lake City. Um, this was like a midday shot. So I just wanted to pick it to show you what it looks like uh, under not so optimal lighting conditions. Um, still pretty sharp wide open. I'm still liking it. The bokeh still looks cool. This one I picked because uh, we're getting into a little better light here. Again, it's wide open. This is at a, almost the minimum focal or focusing distance on this little pine tree here. Um, still pretty sharp. It starts to get a little fuzzy in some spots in here. But uh, for a $9 lens, that's pretty cool. And then this was a, a wedding I shot for a friend's daughter. Um, just picked it again because it's a wide open shot it's in really low light so the conditions aren't optimal um, still looks pretty good wide open and low light even on the this is on the a7 uh, camera body of course and then this is one of my dog on an overcast day um, this again wide open 1.9 uh, got the focus pretty nailed on his eye and snout and everything there uh, pretty good sharpness wide open yeah I mean nine dollars man it's pretty cool so yeah guys that's the auto China 50 mil f 1.9 this guy right here I guess I didn't mention before it is a solid construction it feels like it's all metal except for this little rubberized focal focusing ring I'm not sure if the aperture ring is metal or not. It might be plastic, but build quality is pretty good. And uh, as you've seen, the image quality is not too bad either. And the, the video quality on it, not bad. Not bad at all. Especially considering I paid $9 for it at a pawn shop. Uh, bought the Photosy adapter on Amazon for something like 15 bucks, And the caps, you can buy packages of those on Amazon for next to nothing. Um, so like I say, I'll put the links to those in the description. Uh, hopefully you've enjoyed this video, gotten some uh, information out of it. If you did, please like and subscribe to the channel and uh, come back for some more. Uh, I'm going to make a series out of this. I'll do some little reviews and similar types of things with uh, all my vintage lenses that I've got. Uh, share them with you guys, see what you think. and. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to comment below and ask them. I'll try to get on there and answer all of them. Uh, if you want to know anything else about this 50 mil lens, uh, let me know. We'll go from there. So, uh, yeah, come back, check out all the rest of the videos, and uh, we'll see you next time.